turnovers in this. I think there were five turnovers in it. Uh, there was about 16 penalties. I mean, it was ugly to watch when you look at it from just a game. But uh, we did get a lot of good reps trying to get our top 60 ready for the, for the fall. What questions can I answer for anybody? Is, is there a decision in occasionally, you know, maybe, you know, not have your quarterbacks hit? I mean, did you, did it cross your mind? I mean, you know, is it ever when it comes to this kind of thing? Kind of wear a red jersey or something? No, I mean, and I've, I've done it before, but standing back there with a green jersey and standing back there with a red jersey are two totally different things. And I've seen it ruin quarterbacks that stand there in practice and can make every throw and never worry about getting hit. And then as soon as it becomes live, their eyes leave downfield and they start looking at the D-line. I don't want to hit our quarterbacks. I don't want to make them live. I don't want to get anybody hurt. But that's how we're going to play the game in the fall. And they've got to learn to stand in there and throw the ball and make some decisions, especially with the youth that we have at quarterback when you look at Bobby as a freshman and Matt Floyd as a freshman. And then if you take away, you put a red shirt on BJ, you take away one of his biggest assets because where he was most effective today was turning and running the ball. Skip, I wanted to see about, about Clyatt and, and just you guys used him. Uh, he seems real quick on the blitz, using him that way. Rashard Clyatt uh, is doing some good things. Moving him from safety down inside, he's got to continue to get bigger, but he's about 200 and I think he's about 212 pounds right now, 215 pounds maybe. Uh, he's getting bigger. Uh, we just need to continue to bulk him up, but I think he has a chance because he runs so well. He's got safety speed, and you bring him down and put him at linebacker and then turn it and be able to play some games with him and bringing him off the edge or him back, dropping him back, I think is huge. I, I know it's, it's just spring, but how nice is it to know that you know, he can run the ball? I mean, that's always a nice thing. Well, to yeah, I mean, because I think it's, it's good and bad. I mean, you know, because you look at it and go, I think we have a chance to run the ball from what I've seen to this point in the spring, but that's our defense we're running the ball against. You know, right now, we're not playing base defense, and I don't mean this negative, but we're not good enough to play base defense. That's why we're doing what we're doing, because we're not good enough just to line up and play base defense and hold a gap. And I mean, so we've got to create confusion, move, twist, stunt, stand up, drop, blitz, zone, man. We got to, that's what we're going to have to do to be good. And so offensively, uh, I worry, can we run it against a good team that just lines up and plays base? It's hard for us to turn and get that because that's not what we do defensively. Same thing, it's hard for us to get a really good challenge on where we are in the secondary because we can't challenge them offensively because we don't throw, throw it and catch it well enough. So I mean, both of our, your deficits on offense or defense are what you worry about on the other side of the ball because you never get a chance to go against a team that's really good at it. And that's the, that's the concern of spring. That's the concern of spring. You never know, because every time you throw the ball, you go, oh, nice play, nice touchdown. Hey, that's our defense you're doing that against. And every time you turn and go, you know, nice pick, you go, hey, that's our offense you're doing that against. So, um, you know, I just, that's one of the hard parts about spring, and you got to be able to watch a film and evaluate it, which is why we had to go against ones, twos, and threes today and mix it all up so we get a good evaluation on where everybody on this team is. It seemed like a lot of flare passes to running backs out of the backfield. Is, is that something you anticipate more of in the when fall or just team, today? When we get a team that pressures and blitzes us and does a lot of that, yes, that's where the ball goes because they're trying to force the ball gone in a hurry, our defense is, and those are the quickest routes to get rid of the ball with. So that's why you saw so much of it today was because of the blitzing going on with our defense. But this is, I know it's just spring, but BG